Hey everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I'm laying out uh, four default preferences in Premiere Pro that kind of annoy me and uh, and how to change those. And I'll show you what I do to make them. So they, they're less annoying and so I actually enjoy them. Anyway, uh, so let's get started. The number one uh, preference here is a preference called uh, joining through edits. And what that is, is basically when you do a cut, let's say we got this clip right here and I put a cut right in the middle of this clip right here. So I can do that by doing the razor blade or I can just simply hit Command K or it'd be Control K on a PC. And now we have a cut right there that it just performed right in the middle of that clip. As we play through this clip, it's still the same clip. This When it reaches the out point of this clip and goes to the end point of the next clip, it's basically the same clip. So you will not notice really any jump or anything. So watch this as I play through it. There's seemingly no jump or, or, or cut there at all. And that's because this is what they will call a redundant cut. It does not need to be there. Uh, but what you have is you have a little feature in Premiere Pro under the wrench here. Uh, you can click on these timeline display settings. And from here, you can go up to show through edits. The through edit is the same thing as a redundant edit. It's an edit that doesn't necessarily need to be there, but it's still there. So I'm going to do show through edits. And when I select that, on those redundant edits, or what they call through edit, uh, they'll put these little teeny triangles that point toward each other. Uh, before that was turned off. So if we turn that back on, then you'll see what happens here as we uncheck the th show through edit you'll see those little triangles disappear and it's just a straight line. So there's really no way of distinguishing that, that that is the same clip in sequence, that when this one ends, it just starts the first frame of the exact same clip and it just happens to be a redundant uh, cut. So I like, if I unintentionally do redundant cuts, I like to have that show through edits turned on and then those little triangles are pointing toward each other so, saying that, that this edit does not necessarily need to be there. So a way to join those together too, now you can just right click and say, uh, join through edits if it was unintentional. Sometime you might wanna do like a different color grade from one, maybe it goes from black and white and gradually goes to color. Uh, in that, that instance, that would basically show why you need a, 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 that edit there and it's not necessarily redundant. In fact, let's show that really quick. So I'm gonna bring open my Lumetri color panel and the first one, let's say it transitions from black and white to color. So I did that uh, redundant cut there and I grab saturation, turn it down and now this play, uh, clip is black and white and then when it plays through, it cuts to color. Then if you want like a smooth transition where it gradually fades to color, I could arrow up, land on that edit, hit Command D or Control D on a PC. And now we have this crossfade uh, that happens between the two clips. So now it will go from black and white and gradually to color over time there. So so in that instance, that's about one of the only things I can think of where it you uh, that redundant edit is needed there is if you're transitioning from one effect to the next. So if it is an actual redundant edit, you can just right click on it and say join through edits and it, re and it uh, puts the clip back to normal. And since I mentioned that these are preferences that annoy me, it annoys me when the show, show through edits is not on and you perform a cut and then you have just a blank line there and you don't know if these are two separate cu cuts or if this is a redundant cut. So, all right, moving on to the next one. So the second thing that really annoys me is when you when you reach the end of your timeline, if you're, pro if you're playing it through your timeline and it suddenly reaches the end, and you unintentionally hit your space bar, it will jump to the very beginning of your timeline. Even if you got like a one hour timeline, it jumps clear back to the very beginning and starts playing uh, from the very beginning. And then I have to, if I'm working at the end of my timeline, then I have to hit the end key and go back to the end. But if I accidentally hit my space bar again, it'll jump back to the beginning and start playing again. Really annoying to me. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to Premiere Pro and go under settings and go to timeline. And if you're on a PC, this is found under edit and preferences, and I don't have it right here because I'm on a Mac. So if you go to Premiere Pro, we go to settings, we go to playback, and if you're on a PC, as I mentioned, you'll go to edit, preferences, and then uh, and then you can go back to go down to the playback section of your preference window here. So I'm gonna go under timeline, and under timeline, you have these options down here to check mark, to check or uncheck. And the one that really annoys me is this right here, at, at, at playback end, return to beginning when starting, read starting playback. Uh, so I'm gonna uncheck that, hit OK, and if, and if I unintentionally hit the space bar when my playhead is at the end, it just sits there. So now I can just hit J to rewind, K to stop, L to forward, and when it hits the end, it will not jump back to the beginning of my timeline if I hit space bar again. My third annoyance with the Premiere Pro preferences is going to be found under Premiere, Settings, and Audio. And once again, this is just my personal preference. Now the default in these preferences is checkmarked as maintain pitch while shuttling. Let's show you the difference between scrubbing and shuttling. So, but, but this is the default, is playing audio while scrubbing and maintaining pitch while scrubbing. I'm gonna hit okay. So what scrubbing is, is when you physically grab the playhead here and you just grab it and you start moving it back and forth over your playhead, like this. And what you'll notice is while I'm doing that, the pitch of their voices stays the same and that's fine when you're scrubbing. 
it's automatically just up. If it plays the audio when it's scrubbing, the default is, is to maintain the pitch. It will not it will not change the pitch at all. Now, the thing that does annoy me is when I'm shuttling. What shuttling is, is when you're using JKL, J is rewind, K is stop, and L is forward. Still. Now, if you hit L multiple times for forward, J is rewind, K is stop, L forward. If you hit L multiple times, it must have been hard to wake up. It goes faster and faster. So L, L, L. I'm going to hit L like four times here and watch how fast it goes. L, 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 L. And now it's kind of rip roaring through the, through the timeline there. If you hit J, it does the same thing, but in reverse. So J, 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 J. Goes faster and faster. And now you'll notice when it is shuttling opposed to scrubbing here, when I'm using the JKL rather than just grabbing my playhead and, and scrubbing it around here, uh, listen to this. I'm going to hit J. J again. J again. And even though it's going in fast speed, it is, the, is maintaining the pitch and you have kind of that choppy little audio going. And I don't like that. I like, I'm, I guess I'm kind of old school where I like to, whenever I shuttle and I sh speed up the shuttle, I like to hear it going fast forward. And maybe it's because I used to work on ancient tape. And when you use JKL on those editors, on those linear editors, uh, you can hear the tape skimming through and it would, and the pitch would increase because it's playing through at high speed. So I'm going to go under my preferences, go under audio and I'm going to uncheck this. That's the way I like it. Now listen to the difference here. Now when I shuttle through my timeline, L, I'm very sorry for your loss. normal speed, L, L. And the faster you go, it will be that high pitch, just, and it's not kind of doing that weird sampling where it's just chopping through the audio. It's just fast forward speed. I prefer that when I'm shuttling. Uh, what you cannot do that when you're scrubbing. When you're scrubbing, it just maintains the pitch no matter what. <laughs> And that's fine, but when I I just know the difference now, and then when I want to hear it like that, I'm just going to hit, let's do a rewind, J, 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 J. And for some reason, that just feels good to me. And the fourth default preference that annoys me is the page scroll. And what that does is, when, basically, uh, while you're playing through a clip in this visible space right here, this is not my entire timeline. If I hit the slash above the return key, but the enter key, the backslash, it will show my entire timeline, but now if I zoom up, I'm going to hit plus, plus, plus to zoom up. If I'm zoomed up on my timeline here, this playhead will play. We'll be finished here very soon, Mr. Parker. And when it gets to the end of this, it's going to advance to the next block of the timeline, and then this playhead will go back to the beginning and play through that. But it advances, but it does advance this whole section to the next section, and then the playhead plays from the left to right. And when it reaches the end, it advances to the next section, and then it goes from left to right, playing through that one right there. That will go left to right, playing through this new page that it's brought up here. So let's get to the end and show what happens here. Valerie had been sick for a long time. Um... So now it jumped to the next block of uh, a section of clips here, and it starts playing from left to right until it reaches the end. If I grab this and get it to the end, and it plays through the end of this one, it jumps, it, it advances to the next block and then goes, uh, uh, then the playhead plays left to right and keeps on doing that, advancing the timeline down a little chunk at a time. I don't mind that, but my preference is to go to Premiere Pro, go to settings, we're gonna go to timeline. And under the timeline settings, you're going to see this uh, timeline playback auto scrolling. If you don't want it to scroll at all, you can say no scroll. I don't care about that. It's just playhead will play off the screen and then it will advance it to the next section where the playhead is uh, once you pause it. So watch this, as it plays, it'll just exit the screen. For you. And now we don't know where it's at on the playhead. Thank you. And then when we stop, it advances to where my playhead ended up at there. So that so that's just no scroll. It will not scroll while you're playing. And I I pretty much never use that. So, uh, but now I'm going to go under not under the preference that I prefer. I'm going to go under timeline, and we're going to change that to smooth scroll and hit OK. And this seems to make a little more sense to me because it will advance the timeline while it's playing it, and it'll just the timeline will be scrolling by, and it will kind of keep the playhead in the same centered position. So watch this as I get back here. And start playing. Let us know if there's anything. The playhead automatically jumps right to the middle of the screen, and then it has the playhead moving uh, this way as it advances past this uh, this playhead that's holding still. So let's look at that again. Let us know if there's anything we can do for you. Thank you, detective. And that's my preference right there. So those are four annoying default preferences that I have in Premiere Pro that I pretty much change whenever I get onto a new system and sit down. I will go through and make those changes to get it just the way I like it. So. Well, cool. Well, thank you for watching Chin Fat. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them and subscribe, I guess. So yeah, subscribe to Chin Fat. I never thought people would ever hear me saying those words until I started my YouTube channel. Subscribe to Chin Fat.